welcome to my analytics channel. For this video, I will show you on how to build a neural network model. To perform this model, we will be using the RapidMiner sample datasets. But before we build our model, let us first have a background of what is this neural network all about. By definition, neural network is an algorithm that recognizes the underlying relationships of sets of data through a process. In fact, this is commonly refers to a human brain which can easily adapt the changing input in which the network can generate the best possible results without need to redesign the output criteria. Now let's build our model. So uh, to process our model, I am using a Rapid Miner Studio 8.2 version. Okay, just click on this new process, then blank. Okay, as I said earlier, we will be using the uh, sample data sets of our Rapid Miner. So as you can see, we have here uh, data sets, okay, that we will be using for this demonstration, this particular data sets. Okay, just click it here. Then let's try to check this data sets. Okay, then inspect our data set result by connecting okay, this, uh, this data set to this uh, node, result node. Okay, then click. Okay, then check. You have here your data sets. Okay, this is the data sets of our um, iris sample. We have 150 examples here. We have two special attributes here and four regular attributes. Okay, so let's check for the statistics. So, some of the attributes is a real type data, and we have two um, nominal type of data. Then you can check on the statistics by clicking this particular uh, part. Then you can open your chart. Okay, if you want to. Uh, get this chart and reflect whatever you are uh, you want to reflect this in your document okay now let's build our model just click on this design button then you have to disconnect this one and the first thing to uh, use is the uh, cross validation just cross validation and drag it here then you do some connection and now double click this cross validation okay so that we are prompted to our process area so we have two interface here the training and the testing in our training process we will be placing here our neural network algorithm okay so let's uh, find our neural network okay algorithm here okay then drag this algorithm to this training process area then make a connection and you now connect your model to this part then for the testing uh, interface we will apply our neural network model so you have to select apply model operator okay drag it here then you have to connect your model your neural network model to here and also our testing model to unlabel then after this we need to check the performance of our model by okay including this performance classification operator okay then drag this one to here okay then we will connect our model here then we check the performance of our model so this connection tells you that this on um, this neural network um, algorithm or our model will be applied then we will check the uh, performance of our neural network model by connecting this port to here okay 
then you have to go back to your process area okay just click on this one so that you have to make a connection of what result do you want to uh, generate now we have to proceed to our cross validation under process because we want to uh, generate some result okay so first thing to do is we need uh, the result of our neural network model okay connect to that node and we also want to check the testing and our performance okay then if you want to check on your um, model a neural network you can also check uh, connect that part then since we have already connect all of those uh, results that we're expecting then we will run this um, process by clicking this button okay there we have it so this is the last okay as you can see we have here the result of our neural network we have our performance okay to make it bigger we have here okay so this is the cross validation result of our uh, model neural network model then we have also here the performance result as you can see so we have a 100 percent classification for this particular attribute and here we have only 92 percent maybe there's an error of four here we have 98 percent so this is a good model so this is 96 point 67 but uh, let's take a look on our neural network okay this is the graphical representation of our neural network so as you can see you have uh, five nodes here or input variables then we have only one hidden layer and we have our output here okay now let's also check uh, the description of our neural network okay what we have here is our data description of our improved neural network so we have here the sigmoid actually this is the function or the squashing function and the purpose of this sigmoid is this will provide a benefit to the learning weight of our neural network and we have also here the bias as you can see we have node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 node 5 so we have four um, input um, variables here so uh, let's check uh, which among these uh, variables provide the most effective uh, variables later we will check on our um, graphical form of this neural network okay uh, what is this uh, bias? So this bias is just like an intercept in a linear regression and this can be the additional parameter of our neural network which you can make some adjustment of the output with the weighted sum of the inputs to the neuron. So the purpose of this bias is to make the best fit of our given data. Okay, so now let's check which among this input uh, variable provide the most effective uh, one. Okay, now as you can see, so we have here the connection, thicker line, those who are the most significant or the most uh, effective uh, input, okay, input layer. Okay, we have here node 3 and node 4 as well as our node 5 okay then um, let's check first the performance of our vectors okay by the way okay when we uh, actually you can add your hidden layers okay so why we make some adding of our hidden layers it depends on how big our data is and what problem that we're trying to 
solve. And you have to remember when you increase your uh, layer, then it will make our um, network increase its complexity of its uh, data. Okay, then uh, so on also this, the adding of hidden layers will also increase your uh, accuracy, but it really depends on the data that you have. Okay, so now we, uh, the purpose of this hidden layer is you allow the function of the neural network to be broken down into specific transformation. This part is the the part where the data are transformed, okay, for each hidden layer function to produce a defined output here. So that's the function of this hidden layer. Okay, let's check the performance of this one. Okay, we have uh, 96.67. Okay, let's try if, what if, if we add some more layers? What happened to our, um, what do you call this? accuracy okay to do that you have to go back to your design and um, double click this one so that you are prompted with your neural network algorithm okay by selecting this neural network algorithm you can now check the parameters of this neural network okay so as you can see we have here the hidden layers where we can add more layers as i've said when you add more layers then it will increase the dimensionality of your data okay then uh possible it will increase the accuracy of your classification it depends on the data okay now uh we have here a parameter uh, training cycle so this is uh, typically provided by the rapid miner so this is 500 iteration Okay, you can change that if you want. Then for the learning rate, okay, this particular learning rate we have 30%, now as provided by our rapid miner. So this is to train our neural network. So we need to set this learning because this will uh, provide us the magnitude of our weight updates in order to minimize the network loss function. However, if your learning rate is too low, then the uh, progress of your training is also very low. Okay, when weight will make an update of your network. Or if you set the learning rate very high, then it may uh, create a negative effect or undesirable behavior of your uh, loss function okay and we have here the uh, momentum this is a parameter or a technique that often improves both training speed and your accur and accuracy okay so um, these are the important parameters okay for you to understand what is this neural network okay let's go back to our results before we uh, add more hidden layers so our result is for one hidden layer we have 96.67 so now let's redesign okay so we have to uh, add more hidden layers so this is how you add your hidden layer example layer name one add another entry hidden layer two okay let's try two hidden layers Okay, this is uh, automatic, this is a uh, heuristic, okay, of the uh, hidden layer sizes of a rapid miner, but you can change this one to uh, a certain value, it depends upon you, so the size of your hidden layer, let's say we use 5, okay, and try to apply that, and try to run it again and check what happened to our classification okay this is the last result so our last result is 96.67 okay when we uh, add more layers because we add okay we have two layers now so there is a negative effect to our 
classification performance because it decreased to 96. From 96.67, we have 96, okay? For this two hidden layer. So it's not good to add more hidden layers for this particular data. Okay, this is how amazing Rocket Miner because you can um, modify your model, then check the performance until you get the best result. Okay, so what if if we change our let's try to uh, okay let's delete this one let's try to add more or what do you call this what happen if we okay the size of our hidden layer is 10 let's say 10 let's try to check what happened so our last uh, classification is 96 then let's try and run it again okay so there we have it so the our last result is 96 let's try if we use so we have here if we use size of 10 then let's take a look our result performance result increased to 96.67 Actually, this is also the same result when we use the hidden layer. Uh, one, we have only one hidden layer and we use the heuristic um, value for the size. Okay, let's uh, try another result. Okay, what if, if we add more hidden layers then? Okay, let's um, go back to our design. Let's try to... Um, Add more layers. What happened? Okay, even layer three, and still we use size of ten. Then try to apply and run it again. This is how amazing uh, Rapid Miner is because you can um, experiment. Okay, check the performance and select the best uh, performance result. Okay, what happens? So it decreases to 9 to 6. It's not a good model. Okay, so okay for this process, the two hidden layers uh, provide us the best result and the first one that we process, okay, the one hidden layer. Okay, it's not good to have three hidden layers for this data sets. Okay, that's all. I hope that you learned this simple demonstration and thank you for watching.